So now I'm gonna do my air systems check for a class three vehicle. Okay. So with the key in the on position still from our in cab, I'm gonna do our leak test. So the main one we're looking at here is this one here. It says P because it's your primary tank. Okay, this is your secondary, not as important. So we're looking here. We got our trusty timer, one minute timer. Now we're going to release the truck spring brakes. My uh, wheels are chalk, so I shouldn't move. I let the air settle. And I do a full brake application. I look here, I tell the examiner I'm at 100 PSI, then I start my timer. I have my window down, I'm listening for leaks. I'm watching here, make sure that needle's not moving. I can lose no more than three PSI in this one minute. Okay, it's still at 100. I've lost no PSI. I heard no audible leaks. Now I'm going to do my fan down test. So, no lower than 55 PSI. My low air warning light, right about here, and buzzer must come on. So, my brakes are still off from the previous test, so I'm good to go. So, So my low air warning light and the buzzer are both on and it's around 75 PSI. So that one passes. Now I'm going to continue fanning down until this brake pops out all on its own. And it needs to do that no lower than 20. Okay. Okay, it popped out all on its own, and it's at 25 PSI, so that's good. Just make sure it's nice and set in its seat. Okay. Now, I'm going to do my build-up test. So, I must be able to build from 50 to 90 in three minutes with just that idle. So. Start the truck, clutch to the floor, turn the key on, make sure you're out of gear, ease off the clutch, okay, and then you can fuel up to get yourself up to 50.
buzzer turned off around 80. It's not really necessary to mention that, but it doesn't hurt. I'm waiting to make sure that we can reach 90, which is roughly there, in at least three minutes. Let's say that's 90, and made it there with a minute to spare. Now, I'm going to continue building up until my compressor goes into the unloading stage, which is that sound you're going to hear. So I put my passenger window down, I rev it up, and this has to happen between 115 and 135, anywhere in between those two numbers. That alarm or that uh, compressor can unload. chocks, put them away, and do my last two parts of the brake test. Three points of contact. So, that wheel chalk, that wheel chalk, Throw them away, side box. spring brake on. Try to move the truck forward with the spring brake on. I felt it and it didn't move. Now we're going to turn our spring brake off, push our service brake, and do the same style test. And we didn't move. Now, we're actually gonna move the truck forward and make sure that it stops the truck. So he's up on the clutch, off the brake, truck is moving, clutch goes in, brake goes in, it stopped us. Out of gear, spring brakes on, and that's the end of your pre-trip.